The carnivores here have evolved into efficient, lethal weapons. Some have developed extraordinary strength and stamina to take down prey. For others, the weapon of choice is venom. Africa's poisonous predators work in camouflage. One of the deadliest hides in the peaceful forest canopy. The green mamba. The green mamba has a very potent neurotoxic venom that acts with exquisite specificity upon birds. Very efficient upon the human system and they can cause life-threatening envenomation. The green mamba stays out of sight in the trees and rarely ventures onto the ground. Sitting up on the branches, it's going to just keep looking around for prey items and then just glide down with this super silky smooth way that it can move. They've got a good sense of smell, but their eyes are their main hunting device. Blending perfectly with the canopy, the green mamba usually hunts birds. Green mamba is an active snake. It's an alert snake. It's quick to get away from a person. But what if there's 10 or 20 people harvesting out of the jungle? Green mamba's uh, um, got the right uh, shade of green for the environment that it lives in. So uh, tropical rainforest, you'll find overall emerald green color. If ever you see a green mamba out of its environment, it uh, is completely contrasted. You see it so easily, it's a very bright snake. Anything entering the treetops gets the green mamba's attention. They don't line ambush. They'll find their prey by smell uh, and sight and then chase after it. Humans rarely encounter the green mamba. But in Africa's orchards, the danger is greater. The green mamba pumps venom down its tiny hollow fangs. The green mamba venom is a very fast-acting venom, which makes sense. But if you're feeding on birds, you want to be able to knock your prey item very quickly because otherwise, it's just going to fly away. First experience would be a tingling sensation around the site of the bite, and this has all got to do with the nerves going into spasm. Okay. In just two hours, life hangs in the balance as the lungs, paralyzed by venom, start to shut down. Anti-venom is the only antidote, but it must be administered quickly. Otherwise, death is almost certain. But the green mamba is not the snake most feared in Africa. That title goes to its cousin. This killer is even more aggressive. Its venom, even more potent. The Black Mamba. Black Mambas are the most dangerous of the Mambas, hands down. It's a more toxic venom, it's a much larger snake. The black mamba grows up to 14 feet long, making it one of the world's largest venomous snakes. The black mamba isn't actually black at all. It's light grayish blue. It gets its name from the coloring inside its mouth, which is often the last thing its victim ever sees. There's a drop of venom coming out in the one fang and that's absolutely enough to kill an adult person or two. Drop for drop, the black mamba's venom is one of the deadliest in the world. The black mamba's got a neurotoxin, nerve-affecting venom, and a very pure neuro neurotoxin, which uh, easily paralyzes a large body. But it's not just their venom that makes the black mamba so dangerous. It's their habitat. Black mambas hunt rodents and rodents live near people. That's why most attacks occur in human settlements. 
If someone disturbs a black mamba, it immediately reacts with a warning. Animals, when they feel threatened, have two responses, flight or fight. Block the flight, and it's just going to turn around and fight. The black mamba's pressurized venom glands pump toxin into its half-inch fangs. The black mamba fangs are quite a bit larger than the green mamba fangs. You're looking at big venom yields of a very, very toxic venom. The super toxic venom speeds throughout the body using several different pathways. And the venom then initially spreads through the lymphatic uh, tissue and then so spreads into the deeper parts of the body and travels through the body and then into the major organs of the body. At thousands of nerve synapses, the toxin jams chemical communication. Muscles don't get the message to fire and paralysis quickly sets in. Vision becomes blurred, breathing more difficult. But the most critical shutdown happens as the neurotoxin targets the victim's heart. One of the major effects is for the vagus nerve of the heart, which is one of the things that sort of helps you keep sort of track of your beats. So you're knocking off effectively the heart's natural pacemaker with this kind of venom, and you get all kinds of weird heart arrhythmias as a result. Only immediate medical treatment can save the victim's life. That person can survive without any ill effects as long as proper CPR is applied. But the black mamba can kill in such a short period of time. If you're bitten deep out in a bush somewhere, you don't have much of a chance of survival. The black mamba is Africa's most feared snake, but it's not the most lethal. Africa's deadliest have dominated the landscape for millennia. Lions have evolved to overpower anything or anyone. The spotted hyena is an unstoppable force with bone-crushing jaws. The green mamba strikes from the treetops. While its cousin, the black mamba, lives and kills closer to the ground. The black mamba is one of Africa's most lethal snakes, but it's not 